Hi, it's LaVon. Today we're applying a transfer to an old window. So this is a bonus video this week. Um, and here's how it turned out. And I'll take you through the process of rubbing this transfer on this window. Okay, so I have this. How am I recording? Yes, okay. So I have this transfer and I've had it for a while. So if, in case anybody's asking what it is, I don't think you can get it anymore. Uh, if you can, it's an old Iron Orchid Designs transfer um, that was put out by Prima Marketing. So not sure if you can get it anymore or not, um, but I know I don't sell it. But um, it's the LL Made, it's like May and Company. It's a seed packet. And I'm going to apply it to this window. So the first thing I want to do, so I, I kind of like just held it up against it. And I'm going to be losing little parts of it, but that's the only way that I'm going to get it to fit. But that's okay. It's going to look like it's kind of, it's actually like perfect, I think. So it's, it's going to look like it's behind the glass. So... The first challenge, of course, I want to get it centered. It's about two and a quarter. Whatever, a little bit. Okay, I'm pretty well centered. So I'm gonna tape it down so I can cut it. And I'm not 100% sure how that process is gonna go, but Bear with me, I'm armed with several different uh, tools, and we'll see how this goes. So, taping that down, and then I'm just using my fingers to put this to where it's gonna need to be trimmed. And then I'll tape this section down. And the backing is still on it, of course. Once we get it cut, I think cutting it's gonna be the hard part. Then the transfer part is the easy part. Okay, and then doing the same thing. I should get a couple of these cut and ready. Okay, I'm going to do this again so I make sure that I have it down right. hop on the other side here for a minute to finish not sure if you can see the whole thing but I'm gonna just continue okay so now that's left it down a, a good bit hmm. <laughs> okay well that tells me something I think I'm gonna go in a slightly different direction and not tape this one down yet okay uh might be able to well wait let's see how much i have left i know i'm talking to myself but i think i might be able to fit more of the design on here and make less cuts so i think what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and make a cut straight across there. And I think that'll be able to slip down a little bit. I don't know. Um, let me see. I brought a razor blade. The one thing I didn't bring was scissors. <laughs> Shouldn't think on camera, should I? Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this razor blade against the window pane and score it. I don't know whether this is the smartest method, but this is the method I have chosen. Here. 
My graphic scissors. this end and just cut where I need to. Let's see that. Okay. We'll fix it. It'll be okay. Okay. So then what I think I'm going to do is start from the top. So I may go ahead and just transfer this. Then maybe I can eye it better. So that means I have to take the backing off, and I want to get it lined up the way I had it before. It should be lined up with that. So you're here with me, and I get to do, you get to witness how I talk to myself. I'm actually talking to you, but I'm sort of talking to myself because I won't yell at you, but I often yell at myself. And we try to keep this up so that it doesn't hit the window in case I don't have it lined up right, which I don't think I do. Eee. Oh no, it's transferring. Okay, what not to do, okay? Panic is what not to do. So let me get this out of the way. happens and we'll make sure that we get it right. It will be fine. Okay. All right. I didn't grab my rubbing stick so I'm just going to use this ruler end. It's transferring really really super easily on this glass. It's just grabbing it. Um, you know, these things don't come with guarantees, and working on glass is a tad risky. I've never had problems with it, but it's, as they say, off-brand recommended use, but it certainly is done all the time, and even, you know, I see a lot of the professionals do it, so, um, and like I said, I've done it many times. I've sold many mirrors that I've done, and windows. Windows always seem to sell um, when I do a transfer on a window. So this was a super big window, and this kind of transfer would go great on a dresser front, but I saw the windows down there, and I thought, oh, this would make a nice Valentine gift, perhaps. So... just leave it as a window or I might do a mirror treatment in the back. I'm not 100% sure. So I missed a spot so it's no problem. Just lay it back down and I got it. seed packet. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely, I think, paint the back of this, if not mirror.
Okay. So now I am going to go up to the top, like I said. So, um, just so I can give it the best spacing, I think. Because, like, if I start this right here, um, that might be a good idea. But it really separated the word farm, so I'm thinking it should be there. And then this place up here might be, I might be able to get away with a better spacing there. So maybe that's the plan. Um, how about we do that? Okay, so I'm gonna try to line this up a little bit, like, with the words, so that it's not uh, a big interruption. Looks, you know, like the pain wasn't there, so. Um, I'm going to do the same thing then with the razor. I try to be a little more careful this time. Speaking of roses, I got beautiful roses, which I'll show you, from my husband. He's out of town on a bowling trip. Um, he's a coach for Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland, and they're having a home tournament this weekend, and he knew he wouldn't be here. It's first Valentine's Day. We've never been together, and he sent the flowers like a sweetheart so I cried to let me know if you have any exciting Valentine's Day plans. Let's see, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, Friday. So we agreed we would do a March 14th Valentine's Day. You know, I don't usually expect a gift or anything for Valentine's Day. I always say, just get me a Valentine <laughs> a card, because that's what it's all about, I think. Okay, I'm just going to lift one end. Well, that's the same thing that happened, that happened last time. You have to be so careful that these don't fold on themselves. Well, you know what? I can keep should be able to keep this down. That is kind of what I did last time, but I'm going to try to be more careful. Okay. It's a lot of level of commitment when you're working with transfers. <laughs> transfers and stamps. Once you lay them down, you're committed. Okay, I almost took the razor blade to rub it. That wouldn't be good. These do come with little sticks. And they also we also have a transfer tool that I just ordered. Which is a little wider, it covers, it covers a little more territory. That little noise is my tablet that I play music from, and I thought I took care of my notifications this morning, but I guess I didn't. I guess I'm going to have to go into email settings and notifications. Crimson Rambler, the most remarkable climbing rose that has ever been introduced. 
products of Japanese origin, perfectly hardy and the most rapid growing free flowering variety we have ever seen. These flowers are a beautiful rich crimson color and produced in great colors throughout the entire season. This is a rose that will please everyone and is highly recommended by the leading authorities in both America and Europe. Price 20 cents each, three for 50 cents post pay. Hmm. Like, <laughs> put a dollar sign in front of that, almost, <laughs> for today's prices, right? Okay, and then the other one is the White Rover, a beautiful creamy white climbing rose that is a grand companion for the Crimson Rambler. The plant is a strong, vigorous grower, hardy in sections of uh, something country, uh, this country, and undoubtedly the most valuable white variety that, I don't know what that word is, something secured. The flowers are a good size, a delicate creamy value, and born profusely the... Okay, so we ran out of print, and that's okay. Um, when you see these transfers, uh, sometimes, like if you miss a little bit, like down here, a little bit of it didn't transfer right when I screwed up, that's okay. It gives it that worn look. So uh, these are actually meant to look distressed anyway. So a little more distressing. Don't distress over it. Don't stress over the distress. Okay, should have gone the other way so you could watch the reveal. But you see the, the process. We're just kind of lifting up and feel a little resistance. So I'm going to rub that. It's just real tight between the two. Dividers here. Goodness, a bit. Just gonna go over this just to make sure. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna switch gears. And in order for you to see, I'm actually going to just flip the window around. Easier said than done. This is a big, big window. It's a big transfer. Like I said, it'd be great for the front of a dresser. Um, get these out of the way. <clears throat> so I am suffering from the end of a cold. It's not too bad now, but really gets me it's been about two weeks and nighttime's not fun oh, well, spring's on its way right okay so this time i'm going to start from the top so we get it spaced right um it should be easy to line up this now about right. Okay. I'm going to leave that tape on there. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to measure. Let me work just a tad. Okay, so I'm glad I did that because this part is just flowers and then this is lettering. So I should be able to do the same thing I did with the other part. So I'm going to grab 
I have my razor blade. I'm going to start in the middle this time. Yeah. Surgery, it's critical. Critical operation here. This should be going the other way here. earlier today in the shop. can't believe I've gone uninterrupted so far. Right, just going to let that sit there. And do the same thing here to lift this up. Slip that out. again. It's okay though. It'll be fine. Because once it grabs on, not much you can do. It kind of levels itself out though. So I'm just going to start in the middle here. Work my way down. see how it gets real clear here and here it's darker can you see the difference there um, when there when it gets a bubble in there they call it riding the wave and you just just go with it and it just kind of automatically removes that paint off the back for you there you go um, see how that happened I want to go in a direction that It'll continue. See how that's going from dark to light? I want to go in this direction because I'm going to ride the way. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't do that, and you'll think, is it transferring? And of course, we're working on glass, so we don't want to press too terribly hard, but we'll find out when we pick it up. And when you do that method like I do it, don't lift it all up at once, but just do it gradually, then you can reapply if you're missing anything. Right. Going to start. And I want to be careful because I can see part of it definitely has. Oh, yeah. I was going to go the other way just so you could get a better look. Um, so you see like part of it, I hope you can see that is, is clear and then the other part is still not, but yet I've rubbed it. So it is okay. I'm just going to do this as I lift it because what's happening is part of it was sticking to the frame there. It is all good. You really are more forgiving than you would think. The biggest danger is turning it on itself or just applying it where <laughs> you don't want it. Um, I was close enough, so we didn't have any problem. Okay. Now, let's see what this last section looks like. I want to line the words up. I want to do what I did before. Just kind of Put it on there so it can kind of complete the words without making them too long. Mm. 
but they're shorter words so if I take out a lot then I'm gonna miss a lot of the words so I'm kind of gonna improvise here just a tad Gonna get the end of that letter. Um, so. I think I'm just going to expand the letters, make them longer because it makes more sense to me. But I really have to get over it and make sure. I don't know. Hmm. No, that doesn't look right. I just want to take a little bit. <laughs> Talk about not being able to commit, right? Just going to go for it. I don't think anybody's going to call me out if it doesn't line up. But I'm doing, doing the best I can here, and I still think it's going to look really good. Just try to keep this close to the frame. Yeah, that did go off track there, but we'll fix it like we did before. Let me get to the scissors. I am not a perfectionist. I don't think art and perfection go together very well. There's a lot of people that are very talented and do a lot of things, but I think if you're really super OCD about art, then... I don't know. I don't think you're being as creative as you could be. Not to say you're not creative, but... Art is about letting yourself go. Because it's not only for people to look at, it's for us to express ourselves and a little therapy. <laughs> okay. I would definitely go crazy if I couldn't create. Okay, so here's where I'm going to fix that. And then I'm going to I'm not exactly sure how to fix this. Okay, um, and once you get that transfer on there, there's such a little bit of film that if you have any on the wooden frame part, you can easily just peel that away. It's 
going in one direction there because of the split that I had there. So here's a good example of riding the wave. <laughs> Riding the bubble, I guess. Which way are we going? This way, I guess. Okay, so there's two pieces of plastic here. I want to make sure I get them both now they're together. transfer. Now then, I'm going to try to pick this up so you can see. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll end the video and I'll stand it up and then I'll let you look at it. So I decided to do a mirror finish and what I'm doing first is spraying the back of the glass with um, vinegar and water. This is like a faux mercury glass treatment. You may have seen this before. Okay, pretty generous with it. And then, picking up, this is Looking Glass by Krylon. There's a couple different Okay, so usually you have to use a um, screwdriver. <laughs> And that's what I did. So I'm getting right up over this. Just spraying this, just covering the, the glass with it. Usually I do two coats of this. Sometimes I end up doing the two coats like back to back, like right after the other. It dries pretty quickly. Because then it gets even another coat after this. What the um, vinegar water does is create a resist. So wherever you spread the vinegar water, you don't the paint won't stick. This paint, the Krylon um, looking glass paint, won't stick to that. So that being said, it's going to look like an old mirror, but you have to paint then over it with like a black usually or. A, you know, something like that so that it looks like an old mirror. Because otherwise you wouldn't see the backing. Like a dark gray or or black, usually. Okay, I'm kind of going over it right away. Sometimes I do that. If the paint's flowing good, I go with it. I'm going to let this dry. So you can see it. Okay, I had some hurricane gray. So I'm just going to put a sloppy coat on the back of this just to give it a backing. Like I said, if I'd have had black, I would have used black. It just doesn't matter at this point. It's just like whatever looks like the back of a mirror. And sometimes you have to do two coats of this because um, 
usually I take a paper towel and kind of go over those little bubbles, but I didn't, and I see I'm breaking them, which is fine. And the other part of it is um, you kind of have to cross hatch this in two coats. So I'm doing one that's a horizontal cross hatch, and then, or I mean a horizontal stroke, and then afterwards I'll come back and do one that's vertical. Um, and the reason is so you don't see, because you will, you can see the brush strokes through it at first, but if you do two, then it puts a real solid backing. So uh, you do see how those bubbles just break. So that's what puts the hole in the, uh, like to, to look like mercury glass, like an old mirror would break open. I realize I have a reflective light. This lighting's kind of lousy, but just giving you the idea. So that's what we have. Gonna let that dry. I could get the heat gun if I wanted to. I'm actually working back in the hall here and it's kind of chilly, so not with a cold air dry stuff, but it's, <laughs> it's a lot of air going on and out here, but it's chilly. Um, so just gonna let this dry. And like I said, you can even see the brush strokes are horizontal. When I come back, I will do vertical and then I will show you the results.